Hello and welcome to the Critic Hercules. I'm the Monk. Today we are in Empire of Sin and we are doing a video. This is kind of an updated gangster guide, how to build your squad, what kind of gangsters you should be looking for. And I'm going to recommend you choose five gangsters out of these that we do. So in this video today, we are going to be looking at your beginning gangsters. The gangsters that I suggest you pick at the beginning of the game to kind of start off your empire. Maybe a little bit later you can transition into the, the higher gangsters. But these are the ones that I would choose straight out the gate. And I'm going to tell you why I choose them as well. So... Let's get stuck into it. I'd like to remind everyone that this is after the patch 1.05, so a few things have changed since before then, which is another reason for why I'm doing the updated video. Also, if you enjoy what you're watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on more videos just like this. First up, we have Grady. Now, Grady is a really good uh, little gangster, especially early on. He only costs $3,000 up front. He's got 70 marksman so it's not the best and um, but what he does have is a very interesting trait now most of these traits are things to ignore but the one trait i would like to pull attention to is a cat has nine lives once per combat if an attack would kill grady instead of dying he will bounce back with 20 percent health now he doesn't have a lot of health he has 84 health but that 84 health as an early character is a good little health pool and like i said he doesn't die it's basically like him wearing a permanent bandage it gives him a get out of jail free card next up we have tommy biscuits tommy biscuits has 84 health as well again he only costs 3000 up front and he also has 70 marksman he also has a 25 defense bonus which is a reason why I like him. The other reason I like him is that he also has a good trait. And like I'm saying, guys, or like you will see, you know, very familiar throughout the rest of this video, it's the traits that make these gangsters special. And Tommy's trait is hair trigger. A 100% chance to activate hair trigger whenever a person's HP or an ally's HP drops below 25%. And they will basically unleash hell on anybody around them, anybody that they can hit. If they've got a rifle, there's a very good chance that they will empty that clip. If they've got a shotgun, it will be the same. They could run up to someone and smack them, or they could even run up and heal people. Hair Trigger is a lifesaver and can be a game changer. Now, the next up is, of course, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Again, she is a doctor. She has 90 health early game. That's great. And she also has 25 defense bonus as well. With only 72 marksmen, the marksman isn't exactly great. However, pair her with a rifle and she will do her job. She's a doctor. She will res everyone, heal everyone, and... You're kind of sorted. There isn't much more about her. She doesn't have any good traits. She does, unfortunately, have a bad side, though. And that's the fact that she's got a very good chance of running away. Now, I hate this trait. I really do. Um, afraid isn't a great trait, but if someone dies, she will flee. Um, but she's the first Doctor that you have available to you, so I don't ever not buy her. Um, so, again, that's the reason why I'm recommending her for this video. Crispo is up next with 110 health. That health pool is massive, especially early game. He's a little bit more expensive. He costs $5,940. He doesn't have great marksmanship, but if you give him a machine gun, if you give him later in the game a submachine gun, he can be an extremely good character for you. The reason that is, as in the machine gun, submachine gun, is because that marksman will be per bullet fired. And of course, those sort of guns fire more than one bullet. He does, however, have a very good little trait. And that is shoot first. Shoot first basically is an overwatch. This person will immediately go into overwatch at the start of combat. When you do a combat with this character, you will notice there will be like a circle around him. Anyone within that circle, he has a chance to pick and shoot at the very beginning of combat before anyone else has done anything. 
it can turn the tables in a gunfight very quickly. Next up is Gibby. You either love him or you hate him, but at the end of the day, after the last update, he changed positions. Um, he has A5 HP, which isn't bad to be fair. He costs 6,000 up front. He has 17 uh, defense bonus and an initiat initiative. At, that means basically at the beginning of the fight, they rank up and enlist a little bit more of 72, which isn't too bad either. Uh, he is a demolitionist, which means that eventually he will get shrapnel and things like that of the explosive nature, which comes in handy quite a lot. He does have a good trait and is probably the main reason why I'm picking him. Uh, he has hair trigger. It only has a 25% chance to activate. But the more of these kind of gangsters you put in your crew, the more helpful they are going to be to you. And anyone with hair trigger honestly is good. There's a few people with hair trigger that I'm probably not going to pick. But Gibby at the beginning of the game for only six grand. He's a demolitionist. It's worth a go. Now, once you guys have got yourself a little bit of notoriety, you may want to trade in your doctor. I already told you why the last doctor was not my favorite doctor. However, I always end up buying her, but that is because Gracie costs like 220 notoriety before you can even get her. She's only 6,000 up front. She has 100 HP, which is massive. Marksman of 83, again, which is great. And she has a defense bonus of 25 need i say more she is a doctor she doesn't have any bad traits she doesn't necessarily have any good traits but gracie is an upgraded doctor on quinn and the last gangster i'm going to recommend is tammy tammy is a, another enforcer but she has a hundred and ten uh health which is very big health pool. Anything around 100 can carry you into a late game. She only costs 6,000 up front. She has 22 defense bonus, 72 initiate, and a 75 um, marksmanship, which is, it's not great. I'm not going to lie. It's not great. But if you if you use it with a submachine gun, she does great. Maybe even a shotgun. And again, it will work out well for you. And again, in traits, what she does have, if you notice this little cat icon, she has a cat with nine lives, meaning if she downs in combat, she gets 20% of her health back, um, you know, instead of downing, which is amazing. Cat with nine lives is one of the best traits in the game, and Tammy has it. You can get your hands on it and in your squad for only six grand. That's a bloody good gangster right there. So that's it, guys. They are my recommendations for your early game. This is going to be the first little bits into the game and the gangsters that I would recommend looking to get into your squad. Um, if you are using a boss, and especially after patch 1.05, you may have noticed the game has got a little bit tougher. It's not as easy as it once was. However, I still think gang 10 gangsters is going to be too easy for you. However, if you go for a gangster squad size, of around five gangsters and your boss, putting your numbers up to six, that is a good fight. That is still challenging when it comes to safe houses, and it's still challenging when it comes to the larger rackets, which can spawn upwards of 12 guards inside them, sometimes even more, you know. So you can also run into a lot of death squads at the moment. I've seen numbers of up to 19, but if you have a good squad size of say six that should get you through the entire game um, obviously it's up to you what kind of weapons you use and stuff like that but guys if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel comment your thoughts down below maybe in the first two and a half tiers i missed a gangster that you always hire let me know down in the comments why you hire them why you think i've let them uh, left them out and what you would do differently if you had a chance but guys, thank you for watching. I've been a monk. We've been a Chris Lucas, and I'll see you in the next video real soon.